G'day mate, welcome back to Captain Ministry with me, Jilly. Today's episode, today's episode is going to be a little bit of a shitty episode. Why, may you ask? Well, because we're going to be dealing with settlement waste. Yeah, we've got a lot of settlement waste we need to deal with. We're going to be changing things up, upgrading a few things, but it means it's going to be a little bit of a shitty episode. At the same time, it's going to be a bit of a scatterbrained episode. There's going to be a whole lot of things going on in the background, a whole lot of things we're trying to tick off at the same time. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit all over the place. But at the same time, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys, as always, for coming over and liking the series watching the series hit the subscribe button all those things but most of all you know you're watching the tutorial series i got a lot of people coming over seeing the tutorial series and then popping across here and watching the let's play getting all those extra little tidbit tutorial bits i throw in during this let's play but a lot of you have noticed a lot of you have noticed uh that the the videos there there's no mid rolls that we don't run mid roll ads because i ask you guys to support the channel instead rather than me having to fill up the a large portion of, of the video with a whole bunch of mid rolls I have you guys support the channel and it's wonderful it's wonderful that you guys are clicking the clicking the join button becoming a youtube member after you click like and subscribe of course of course of course of course and you choosing to support the channel and look membership starts off at just one dollar per month but there are some that go above and beyond and today I, I really hope he doesn't mind me saying this i need to thank mr bill sharp the reason i need to thank mr bill sharp is he didn't just choose to go in for the one dollar tier he went for a higher tier so we're gonna thank mr bill sharp for becoming a youtube member which seems fit, fairly fitting that he gets the biggest digger we have the biggest digger we have with the sharpest digger uh as we can see here he's gonna dig up 60 60 resources in a single bucket load which is a lot. Uh, we're also going to assign him over to a brand new mine, which we'll talk about when we get there, because like I said, today's going to be a bit of a scattered episode with us doing all sorts of things. And when he finally decides to start moving, we're going to notice a couple of things. One, unbelievably fast. Super fast little trucky boy. Diggy boy. Diggy boy, trucky boy. Yeah. At the same time, you might notice that everybody else is overtaking him extremely quickly. He's super fast. Uh, we also might know he, notice his diesel consumption. Although he has a tank that holds 70 diesel, he's used two diesel going from the door to the first ramp. He's going to use three diesel before he gets to these, these walls that I haven't built yet. Yeah, he's super fast and super drinks the diesel. So, uh, we're going to leave Bill Sharp to hopefully get to the job site. Hopefully not run out of diesel on the way. At the same time, we need to talk about a whole bunch of things. Okay. First off, uh, let's start with tree harvest has no trees to harvest. Um, he's lying. There is definitely a tree here. So we're going to send him off to go grab the very next tree, which will be good because that's the last tree on the map. Uh, yep, this is the final tree. It be gone. Well, it's not technically the last tree. We do actually have a couple of trees over here. Um, these are our last trees on the map, which I've decided decided that we're going to retain for future generations. We're going to retain them so well, we're going to encase them in retaining walls so they've been retained for future generations. I'm going to save these guys. I also don't want to have them accidentally try and spread their treeness back across the map, so we're going to definitely going to encase them. Maybe in future generations, we'll actually build a little bridge. That's flat. Yeah, flat. Build a little bridge across so um, <clears throat> future generations can come across here and stand behind the retaining wall at a safe distance and watch the uh whoa well, well, um praise praise the nature that's um been retained for future generations yes which it now means the other tree harvester definitely has no trees left to harvest so we're going to send him off to the great workshop in the sky and we're then going to try and get some more big vehicles done because although i have a mega excavator that does 60 in a single scoop my little yellow trucks also only hold 60 so I want some mega dump trucks. Mega dump trucks are, are going to hold 180. Mega dump trucks come in two different varieties, either a dump truck or a tanker truck. You have to build whichever one you decide you want. But to make construction part, uh, vehicle part threes, I need to have electronics too. I don't have any electronics too. I do have some electronics too, actually. I lie. They're on the ship. I can't offload them off the ship because the shipyard is full of too much crap. I'm hoping we'll eventually empty this out, but um, for the moment, it's full of crap. At the same time, I can get some more. I can do a whole lot of research and make them myself, or we could trade for them. Right here, I can get 40 construction part 3 for 20 electronics 2, which sounds like a horrible deal, except for 40 construction part 3, I get the 20 electronics 2, which then I craft into 80. 
80 vehicle parts 3. So it's not as bad a deal as you thought. It's not great, but it's not horrible. So uh, I want to send Mr. Shippy off to this colony to do this upgrade. Uh, so we're going to send him off there. But that means a couple of things. Uh, one, we have ship access is blocked. Yeah, um, we built in this dock some time ago, which means I need to get rid of that dock. We're just going to put a whole lot of wood, you guessed it, in the shipyard. Because I demolished it with uni, which means there's now more things that need to be cleared out of the shipyard. Speaking of things and wood, um, wood storage we're officially done with. We're also done with this pipe and these guys, because we know this system is definitely water positive, so I don't need to plug in the excess water. I feel more comfortable if the excess water is hooked up, but I don't need it. Uh, speaking of also excess water, we were just dumping the excess water into the sea. I have decided that we're going to put in a little balance here. We're going to priority it out this way. It's going to come over here and then priority in to our oil. Yeah, I put in another little balance here to priority in and I hooked off the main line back onto the main line and paused the pipe in the middle because if it's paused, it's basically the same as it being not there and we're going to run water that way. It just means that hopefully this desalination plant won't run as often. Why don't I want to run, run as often? Because it uses coal. Um, also creates some pollution, but you know, it, it, it runs on coal. And as you can see, we're sort of going through the coal reasonably quickly. Um, so quickly, in fact, I've actually put in another set of diggers to come in from this angle to dig into the coal mine, because eventually I'm going to have to wall this off. I'm going to have to dig out what's here. We're going to have to remove the ramp, so I need alternate access. So we need to do that one. Uh, also means that we're going to very quickly, before they demolish it, uh, remove those walls and have a landslide, I bet. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, uh, let's work on not enough workers. Not enough workers is here, which means I need to go to the far end of the map and you need everything here. Uh, we're uniting this stuff for today's project. We'll come back and explain this in a minute. Pause. Uh, and I need to very quickly remove you and plug oh, plug that in there instead. Yep, this is all part of tomorrow uh, of today's poopy episode. All right, pause you. Okay. All right, trap cannot reach destination. Where are you trying to take the water? Please don't. Uh, well, pause. Problem solved. Unpause. Problem solved. Okay. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, no place to dump products. Well, you worked that out real quick, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to reschedule these guys that are digging the ramp across to uh, across to this area. Now everything's been cleared. Mm, almost, almost reached it all. Okay, so let's talk about this crew. This crew is digging into our secondary coal mine. This is our secondary coal mine. They're just clearing some space. Now we have a big diggy boy coming to help. Uh, probably means you guys are going to need a couple of extra trucks. Probably. Uh, they're also being told to just clear this out. Why does that... Oh, good stuff. Good trick, Jenny. Good trick. Let's just level that off. Um... Also means I want to remove that before we make it fall into the mine. Yes, um, we're cutting out this corner. We're cutting out this corner. Why? Because everything down here is at level two. Everything over here is at level two, which just leaves this hill in the middle. The hill in the middle that I want to get rid of, so we're going to get rid of it. Uh, okay, no designations to mine. Ah, oh, that's limestone. Limestone. I need you guys to move out one more tile, and I need you to start digging in from the other side to get rid of all the limestone. Okay, all right, so I think, nope, shipyard, 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 ship dock. Okay, dock, I need to put in our new trading dock, which we're gonna put all the way over here. We're going to set you to quick deliver, and hopefully you're not in the way for future generations. Uh, you were meant to be set to water. Cool, uh, with an alert, notify me if empty, and we're gonna remove that for the moment and wait for it to pop back up. Okay, ship, 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 ship. Ship has been here, it's delivered here, we can now do this trade. Uh, at the same time, I've loaded the ship up with stuff. We're gonna send them over to the quartz mine to go repair the quartz mine. We have already loaded up with the construction parts. Nope, we're waiting for the ship to do the routes. Uh, I have removed the multiple fuel stations we had around the place. Uh, we had one over here at Copper, which has also been expanded out so we can dump further into the sky. We've also shipped a 
delivered to there. Ship on to the next spot. Uh, we've also removed this fuel station here and replaced it with a single fuel station right here. Now, pretty happy with that so far, but, you know, one tank, one tank, all the fuel stations. You're now doing iron plus copper plus limestone plus coal plus this extra station that is doing the flattening of the world we're still filling in this with dirt slowly very slowly uh okay i need to go into the world map again i need to pause you guys i need to send shippy shippy to come home for fuel uh no place to dump i think you're lying to me yeah i, I definitely think this place to dump you might want to dump faster than we've got places but that's fine has low supply of water good that means you are all empty and i can pause you you are literally a water into the sea yeah uh ground water's fully repaired cool now i can pause you we're just doing the rounds today just trying to you know get everything fixed up uh can i oh you haven't loaded yet docked yet okay you're loaded can i load you with the sulfur mine parts great and then back to uranium cool i'm literally just instantly loading the ship with stuff so it's ready to go so we can go out to the next spot all right that's that done that's that done uh building retaining walls yep we know about that and designations outside mining tower we know about that we have built the dock which means i can come in here and i can click this button twice which is going to give us two clicks as 40 40 40 electronics too which are then going to get dragged over here and then get converted into more vehicle parts straight now i have enough i can build a dump truck plus a second drop dump truck we're probably going to get a few few dump trucks but i need to be somewhat cautious of how much diesel we're going to actually be using um just something we need to keep in mind all right on to the actual guts of today's episode dealing with the shit yeah um the people shit that is so what I need to do is, I pause this so this could empty a little bit because it was full. We are full on biomass, which means my three mixes is not enough. Um, I need more mixes. At the same time, we're producing 116 polluted water and this guy processes 160. So I need to look at expanding this system. But before I do that, um, we did pick up an extra research. When I was doing research the other day to get thermal desalination, which we used as part of our power, but vacuum, vacuum, vacuum desalination, we picked up wastewater treatment. Wastewater treatment unlocked a filter medium recipe. So I want to upgrade our wastewater treatment to start using this recipe. At the same time, whilst we're doing research, we're going to get the recycling edicts too, mainly because it's a research I don't have to talk about. It means we've got two extra edicts we can turn on and they'll increase the recycling by 10% each. That's it. Uh, chem plant too. I want to grab that research too. Why? Because it's a chemical plant that runs at twice the speed. That's it. We've spoken about it. Don't have to talk about it again. Fuel station three. Um, it's a fuel station that, that's Mark three. It doesn't refuel any better it doesn't give you extra bowsers um it's no more efficient it just holds more diesel so we're going to get this one done as well uh we have large storage two storage large two or storage mark four all depends on how you want to look at it again it's a one we just don't have to talk about it's just a bigger storage box next one is going to be cargo depot three cargo depot three gives us the large cargo modules um which are faster to unload again they're twice the speed so we had our small ones and then the mediums that load 50 percent faster or well, 50 percent or 60 or 30 percent depending on whether it's a loose module a unit module or a fluid module these ones are twice that speed again okay the only difference is the cargo depot six is not an upgrade to the cargo depot 4 it's a pull down the cargo depot 4 and build a 6 instead it's not a direct upgrade you actually need to replace the building but we're going to add that to research queue that way it's off the list next one is going to be ship weapons and ship armor why because that's it we've spoken about it they're bigger guns with bigger armor uh our last two we're going to add to the list is the ship bridge 3 and the fuel tank upgrade uh the extra fuel tank is an extra fuel tank for the main ship that's it conversation is done uh the other one is the ship bridge Bridge 3, which is an advanced radar capabilities. That we'll talk about very, very quickly. Can we get you to come here? So when I visited the quartz mine, because they have the radar on the ship, I can see one, one spoke, one tier, one whatever, past where the ship currently is. So I can see that there are pirates here. With the ship radar 2, the ship bridge 3, or the ship radar 2, I can then see two points past. 
Okay, that's the only thing that upgrade is. So we're just going to get the upgrade, so we'll get the research done now. And then eventually, we'll actually be able to see them, use them, that sort of stuff. At the same time, we're now going to send you all the way over to the coal mine. I'm going to repair the coal mine, then the sulfur mine, and then finally the uranium mine. Uh, okay, so today, today, what I want to do is I want to upgrade. I want to remove this. I don't need that pipe. Uh, okay, <clears throat> I want to do a lot of things. First off, we had recycling over here. We've moved recycling over here because I needed recycling moved. At the same time, I need to delete that. Okay, want to move recycling over. Also, at the same time, um, because it fits in here nicely. At the same time, I move water over one tile. Why do I move water over one tile? So we can remove it. And so I can put biomass collection right here. Okay, it's just gaining me one extra tile, one extra module on the great list of, you know, modules. Uh, which means I can now remove both those. Which now means... Uh, come on. Uh, I want to build you there. I want to have a belt go from there to there. We're not going to use that belt for the moment. Nope. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It's a temporary belt. Uh, which means I want to build those. Okay. Uh, I need to move all the biomass over because I wish to rebuild everything. I wish to rebuild everything uh, one tile further to the right and therefore have more room for the mixes. Uh, coal mine was successfully repaired. Great. We're going to be using you in the not too distant future, I have a feeling. I'm going to send you on to the sulfur mine. Coal mine actually has 450,000 coal, which sounds like a lot. Except we're 300 years in and we've completely devastated what we had originally. So, and this is only going to produce 54 every 60. I don't know how much we were actually mining out originally. Uh, I guess, actually, we could probably look at this. Look at coal. Look at max. We've used 380. Uh, three, three, 338. So, that there represents the one mine that we've already dug out basically that's slightly worrying do i have the fuel to go there no we're gonna go here we're gonna also pause the sulfur mine i don't know why there's a sulfur mine i don't know why we need a sulfur mine but i'm assuming it's there for balance reasons and we do need a sulfur mine okay uh so we're gonna empty you great all right so that's that problem solved uh now today's episode today's episode what i want to do is i want to swap from this recipe to this recipe Okay, so it's still going to take in 160 wastewater. Great. Uh, it's going to take in, rather than sand, it's going to take in filter medium. We'll come back to that. It's going to take in not 8 chlorine, but 16 chlorine, twice the amount of chlorine. That's fine by me. And rather than getting back 50% of the water as clean water, we're going to get back 120 clean water, which is a lot more clean water. It's now three quarters of the water that, that comes out of the system goes back in, or comes back as clean water, which is amazing as far as I'm concerned. But couple more things we need to take care of uh like that belt and that belt can go away uh also gonna get out more sludge and sludge we'll talk about very very quickly sludge these guys are processing 12 sludge each being 24 and we get five fuel gas the five fuel gas we're using uh this recipe we're actually converting a diesel so the more poop we have the more fuel we get as we're getting into big excavators, um, which we have one right now who can't reach. What can't you reach? Now you've got no hope of getting there. No hope of getting there whatsoever. Uh, can I move you to there? Thanks, autosave. Uh, okay, remove that. Unity build all of that. Run that to there. <sighs> you. Okay. Show navigation. So I've built bridges everywhere in an effort to try and make sure trucks could get around. And as you can see, he can get to here, and then this sand pit is blocking off his access. Which means for me to move that sand pit over a couple of tiles out of the way. It means I may need to move this limestone out of the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, he's trying to get to here. Now, there's no quick way to fixing this. But one thing I can do is I can move him somewhere. And then hopefully he gets a new order when he gets there. Uh, you have no import rules. I just need that to empty. Can I just go have an alert? Notify me when it empty. Great. 
Uh, no place to dump. Why do you keep doing that? That's really annoying. Edit. There. Actually, edit. There. You. Edit. Here. say about a shitty episode full of interruptions yeah uh all these little housekeeping things that i'm just gonna have to just do quickly right now because otherwise those notifications are not going to go away all right i want you to dump from there to there i want you to dump from there to there uh i want to have that filled in that filled in you are still trying to go to there. Well, that's not empty yet, so go find somewhere else to go visit. Actually, you know what? We're just going to assign you to here. We'll assign you to the big digger. Problem solved. All right. Um, where was I? This is still emptying. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. Oh, my God. They put shit in there. You are so annoying, trucks. Okay, just set that to there to there, and eventually this will be fine. Yeah, take the material... Oh my god, no, 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 like that, like that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, once they've finished this, we need to fill in this area. This area is going to be more grassland because I want to put down more farms, but to do that, I need to get these two finished off at the same time. Uh, we're going to have to allocate them to basically landfill in everything uh, up to height one with, I don't care what the medium is, and then just do the top layer with soil, so it's actual fertile land that we can plant on. Who can't reach what now? Where the hell are you trying to go? You've got biomass. Okay, I got, I got an idea. Biomass on, import, export, off, import, export, off. It's because I deleted those belts, and then when you uni delete them, um, what's on the belts ends up going to the shipyard. Yeah, okay. So, our plan, our plan. Ooh, our plan is to make filter medium. Filter medium, we right click on it, comes out of a mixer. It's going to need 24 gravel plus 12 sand uh, and a 3 coal to give us 36 filter medium. To run this and this, I'm only going to need 16 filter medium. So, I don't need a whole lot. Uh, I need to make sure I have the right recipe set, that's for sure. Uh, so, I don't need a whole lot, which means I don't need to run that machine at full speed. What I do need to do is I need to move and remove some things so we have some room to move and groove. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a liquid dump uh, anywhere I can. Then we're going to put in a fluid tank right there. We're going to set you to be brine, and we're going to build both of those. I'm going to do that so I can go to here and I can say go away. Okay, next thing I have to do is we're going to move a chlorine machine out of the way. Uh, so you can also go away. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our current chlorine tank and move it here to here. Uh, I can't vent this in the atmosphere. I can't dump at the sea. So I need to physically move this tank. And it has nowhere else it can go. Next thing I need to do is take the sand pit and set you to be sand. And we're going to uni build you so I can uni, well, just demolish you outright. I want to build our filter medium in this area, which is going to be very, very tight. Um, but I did reserve this area because I knew I'd want to do this in the future. So I want to try and build it here somehow, 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 somehow. Um, so that's going to be our plan. At the same time, I still need to get in the chlorine. I now need to get in twice as many chlorines because you make 24 chlorine and we need 16 twice, which is 32. So I need to get in two electrolyzers into this area. Uh, plus, I need to get in uh, the mixer and the requirements for the mixer to make gravel and also import sand. We're already importing sand, so that's not so bad. But I want to get all that into this area. So we're going to start at the... We're going to start chlorine, actually. Uh, can I get a chlorine machine? And every tile matters. So we're going to put you here. And then I'm going to put a second one right beside you. Which means I need a brine tank, which we're going to have to put there with a skinny pipe from there to there. I'm going to copy that recipe there to there. I'm going to need a chlorine tank, which we're going to put here yep because the minimum amount of space required is actually can i get you 
We can get one tile higher. We can get one tile higher because I only need to have access to this port to go to there. How we're going to get from this side to this side, I don't know. One thing I do know is that water is going to nope. come up to height three over to there. And... Yes, there we go. Uh, that water is going to come into there. That's where we're going to run our return water. Uh, that's going to be our first chlorine in second chlorine. We'll work that out in a second. Brine input is going to be off here. Now, I'm not going to put in any sort of balancer or priority or any system like that on there. We're just going to hope that enough of the brine that's coming out of this desal plant comes up this pipe, goes into this tank, which we will put an alert on eventually. Uh, can I get you to plug into you, please? Uh, build, 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 and build. Uh, we're going to put an alert on you. Notify me if less than 75%. Yeah, which we'll get a, an alert on straight away. Uh, P. Diddy! Uh, yeah, that digger's gone and ridden itself up a hill. Can I just remove that, please? And you guys come back down to ground level and set you back up. Okay. Truck has no fuel. Ooh. Ah, truck has nowhere to dump stuff. That's way better. Okay. That means our pier is done. So what I want to do is come from here out to here at height one. Yep. Here to here to here to here. Uh, don't say you're out of fuel and you're now perfectly fine because you've got somewhere to dump things. Yeah, yeah, my petrol gauge li lies too, especially when the boss calls up and says, Can you come into work late? No, out of gas. Sorry. All right, um, we're gonna set you guys up. So, first one is gonna be here to here. Second one is going to be uh, where's about halfway? About halfway is here. Here to here. Third one is going to be uh, let's go with far right across and fourth one. Yeah, I've got multiple dump zones. Uh, is going to be about halfway to here. We're going to set this to level one all the way across. And we're just going to start filling it in with lots of rock, gravel, slag, whatever it happens to be. Uh, and they should get that done reasonably quickly. Uh, all right. We're also going to make sure that's set to 12. So we're going to lower the priority on the dirt down to 15. We've done the recycling edicts. We don't care. We're doing the wastewater now, sort of. I sort of broke their input. So, you know, hopefully none of the sewage backs up and we don't have any problems with everybody getting suddenly sick. Okay. So uh, you can go away. You are slowly filling up with brine. That's perfect. Uh, we're going to turn on both those chlorine machines. And then we still need to get in our filter medium. So our filter medium is going to go... Technically, that's as far forward as we can build you. So let's assume we're going to put you there. Now, you're going to make filter medium. So filter medium is gravel, sand, and coal. Coal, I have right here. We can just bring that straight in. That's not too hard. Gravel and sand. Gravel comes from... <clears throat> under here we have a crusher which it looks like it's going to go right in the back so gravel comes from a crusher which is going to turn our rock into gravel but it also has the possibility of turning gravel into sand so what I want to do is I want to put one beside it so we only have to import rock uh, so you're going to do gravel uh, you're going to do sand you are going to make 24 gravel. Now, of our 24 gravel, we'd need 24 gravel to run this at full speed. Luckily, I don't need to run this at full speed. So we're going to take our 24 gravel. We're going to take half of that and convert it into... Well, actually, less than half of that. We're going to take 8 gravel and convert that into 8 sand. 8 sand means this is going to run at 3 quarters normal speed. Also, after we've taken our 24 gravel, we've taken 8 off it. It's 16 gravel. It'll be running at two-thirds normal speed. Two-thirds normal speed is still like 24 filter medium. We need eight and eight. We only need 16. So we only need to run this at like less than half speed, which means this is perfectly capable of feeding the system. Also means that if I put in a storage box here and I hook a belt from there, oh, surely, oh, F mode, F mode. It's always with the F mode. Yeah, there to there. And I set you to rock. It means that if I uni build all that and then finally add in a belt from here, let's 
keep you as tight as possible because potentially I need to get more belts through here for other material uh, belts and pipes out from in there and out off to farms in that direction uh, we can set you up and then you are going to make a filter medium which will run into there and into there we're going to set an alert on you tell me if you are 75 percent uh you don't have recipes that explains so much okay so uh oh low supply of limestone cool you're empty excellent we can remove you and remove you all right unity both those away uh, oh crap, you've been filling that up. Alright, I need to move that box to there. Can I get out of this system? Uh, technically, yeah. Uh, except there's no room and access. <sighs> Actually, we can rotate you that way. And then I run that to there. We're going to build, build you and build you and you're set to import excellent and then we'll just move the sand from there to there we'll set up a new alert notify me if empty yep then we should be good okay low supply of copper or oh, oh boy um what are you guys doing that's probably more important notify me if less than 75 percent that's probably one that matters more uh, where are you guys up to? Okay, so obviously I need to set this to be dug, that to be dug, that little plateau to be dug, that to be dug. I see copper there, I see copper there. Okay, and how many diggers do you have? You have two. I'm pretty sure two can keep up. You know what? I've got a giant digging team over here clearing out this corner of the map. You can have one more diggy. All right, that should hopefully keep that up. <clears throat> All right, let's play block brine, which we know about. Uh, helps if I actually build the belts. You have 36 filter medium ready to go. Okay, so that should plug straight into there and into there. Yep, they're ready to go. We can build that pipe. Now, with that change, that simple change, it now means we're going to go from 24 sludge to 36 sludge, which means I have more poop on the belt. I also need to do something about this and dealing with the biomass. We've just turned off the biomass for the moment, which means rather than them outputting biomass, they're putting out extra trash. Extra trash sort of works for me currently because we're putting down trash everywhere so we can build more housing because what else would you build your house on? But trash okay uh so what i want to do is i want to have some mixes i want to have a lot of mixes potentially because we had three and we're running flat out and it was not keeping up so i want to have one two three four let's go with four uh five six seven eight um this should be enough that we can double the size of the city without too much hassle and plug into you and into you and into you and into you we're gonna plug into there into there, into there, into there, and on one tile so I can remove you. Uh, I should copy from the end of that to the end of that. I should be able to do that to get all those on there. Uh, okay, so that's that plan. Next plan we're going to have is I'm going to turn this one on. Yes. Okay. I'm going to turn them both on. The reason I'm going to turn them both on is uh, I need to delete all of this. Yep. I also want to move that water pipe up to there instead, just to give me a little bit more room. Because uh, basically, I just need a buffer. I need a buffer uh, for our poop because I've just removed the only way it exits the system and gets turned into something. Uh, can I... Um, uh, that can go that can go away that poop belt can go away you and it emptied priority one and you and it emptied oh you're already done right uh, go away go away all right what I need to do is we need to build the uh, anaerobic digester yeah it's a polite way of saying poop eater uh, we're gonna need three of these per one of these so it means i'm gonna need six of them all up so we're gonna copy these guys we're gonna flip them uh i built the black one 
we're going to put these three like this. We're going to flip these ones. Yes, like that. I need a three tile gap. The reason I need a three tile gap is we need to get the poop out here. Sorry, the freshly converted compost. It's now sanitary poop. Uh, and we're going to run it this way. At the same time, I have a gas pipe, which we're going to run out and out and out and out and more out with a touch more out, except you are going to make the valiant jump from that side of the belt to that side of the belt. Yeah, that's going to be our plan. Now, I want to put these guys here. Yes, which means I should be able to take my poop belt and right into the first one and the second one and with the third one and take my alternate poop belt up, around, over and into... Uh, can I just get you to... Ooh. Pop out, run a straight line. Thank you. One, two, and three. Okay. Yes. All right. Can I build that and that and that and everything from there to there? Now, that should let you guys output, which is good because you're sort of backed up on poop, which is why I want to turn on the second one for the just in case scenario. Uh, you, I need you to party out and then party in from this one as well. Are you running? Oh no, you don't have chlorine. Oh, chlorine from there to there. That seems important. Because we're backed up. How many people are dying? Nobody yet. Nobody yet. All right, uh, we're going to have you guys run the sludge recipe. Sludge recipe to convert the poop into not poop. Well, less poop. Uh, same time, we're going to need a tank here. Yeah, we're going to have a tank right here, and this is going to be our fuel gas collection. Because we will get some amount of fuel gas from here. 5, 10, 15, 30 if the whole system is running flat out. Uh, which we will set to this. Okay. Uh, Frag and Beefy cannot reach. You seemed very jammed. Can I unjam you? No. You got into a special place. Okay. Uh, has a low supply of sand. Great. So we're going to send you, set you to bring in sand. We're going to get rid of that, get rid of that, uh, get rid of both those, and then we're going to bring in a U-shaped belt at our faster speed and plug it in there to feed this whole system. I don't need to upgrade that. You guys don't use a lot of sand, do you? 6, 12, 24. And this belt moves... 60 and you potentially use 48 okay so we do need to upgrade yeah i'm just gonna upgrade the belt <coughs> um it's also been pointed out this is what i found interesting uh that once this backs up it has to wait till it backs up because i have both recipes selected it's actually going to run the glass mix the inefficient glass mix recipe Okay. And the reason it does that is this has, well, we can see these numbers here. It currently has 16 backed up and 16 backed up and now able to output from the system. And perfect example, you have 19 and 19. Now, 19 is too much of a percentage of this recipe to run this recipe. It needs to get down to like 16 or something for it to actually output, which means it's constantly running the inefficient recipe because that's the first recipe that can craft because that's the first item that's cleared on the belt. Here, we're going to see it any second now, hopefully. Come on, process faster. Let's hold on. Whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm. No. There's a whole lot of recycled glass in the way. There we go. So this one still can't output, therefore it can't run, whereas this one can. So what I actually need to do is I need to actually disable this recipe and force it to run the better recipe, which is fine as long as my acid supply never cuts off. If my acid supply cuts off, then my glass cuts off. And I don't know my glass is cut off because I can't have the alternate recipe running. So there's that. Um, the bug has been reported. The devs, it has been noted it is a bug. They'll get around to fixing it sure they've been pretty good at fixing bugs okay so what i want to do is i want to come all the way back to the project we're working on which is poop uh so we are going to get a whole bunch of poop we're going to bring it to here well it's now compost it's no longer poop uh, also means i can turn you off because i only need to have one of you running um, as you process 160 water and the backlog is being cleared we also have the biomass that we need to deal with which we're going to turn back on uh 
and then I need to... The, the end goal is to set you guys to do the biomass recipe, but to turn all the compost. The six compost from these guys, and the however much compost we decide to build here, into fertilizer one. Uh, first off, I need to set you guys to actually do that recipe and paste those in there. Okay, so a couple of things we're going to need to do is I figure we're going to add an extra cancel. Uh, you know what? Uh, no, let's build one. Uh, put you there, put you there, build, copy. Psst, I just want the connector. Yeah, the connector right there. Uh, we'll put that belt on there and that belt on there, which then means I can take my poop belt, sorry, my freshly made compost belt, and run that into there. Okay, which then means I want a storage. I want a storage box uh, just so we have an intermediary, uh, which I'm going to put here, let's say. And then I'd want... Huh. If I put two machines there, have these two do fertilizer? Alright, I have you do compost. Uh, I know, you're an outfit. Can I just get this to go to there? Uh, there? There seems better. Tuck you into the corner. That goes there, then that goes into there and there. And then I need water, which will be grab a skinny pipe, bring it off of this water connection to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, and out of tile, because your need to be flipped and plugged in there. Okay, so the plan is uh, biomass in a compost. A lot of them. Uh, each one of these is going to output four for potentially a lot of biomass. I'm, I'm, I'm planning sort of for like, this is the final upgrade. Okay, we've already put enough sewage in to handle a city twice the size. At the moment we've got 2,200 and we've got 1,220 wastewater. We can go up to 160. So we could probably support 3,000 people off one wastewater. Uh, with the second wastewater, we'd probably support 6,000 people. So I'm trying to also make enough composting, processing, etc. to handle 6,000 people. Uh, so you're going to make four composts. That's so four, eight, uh, 12, 16, 20, 40, 44, uh, plus six, which is 50. And you consume 36. So it's overkill. I like overkill. I like having too much rather than not enough. Uh, can I... You... All of that. Uh, obviously, I'll need a tank, which we will go... That's convenient. Right there. You shall go plug into there. You shall plug into there. We shall... You need that as well. Uh, you and we set to compost... Fertilizer. Sorry. Fertilizer organic. Uh, which we'll drag down to there. You need that recipe... Uh, I don't have a giant backlog, so I'm going to pause you. At the same time, I'm going to pause the bottom row. Because the bottom row is definitely overkill. I'm going to set you to truck import on, and I'm going to pause that belt. Because um, there's obviously biomass somewhere in the shipyard that I'd like to clear out. I need to toggle the direction on you so you actually run and get rid of our compost. Meanwhile, it's full of fuel gas. Fuel gas, fuel gas, fuel gas. Um, fuel gas, at the moment, we're just exporting it, and it's going to disappear into this bucket, and then gets brought into here to get converted into diesel. So having a little bit of extra fuel gas is not really an issue. At the moment, trucks are transporting it, which is perfectly fine. But that, I believe, upgrades and fixes our poop system. It's now automated with a more efficient recipe. Uh, also means we're going to get more clean water returned, which means I don't have to run this as hard, which saves me coal. Because that's what it's all about at the moment. I'm just trying to save coal anywhere I can, just because the sheer rate we're digging through the stuff. Um, sure, I can burn uh, biomass. I can burn an awful lot of biomass, like 72 biomass. I don't make 72 biomass. I could put in a biomass as an alternative burn source for some things. 
or animal feed. We'll get an animal feed probably in the next episode. We could do something like that, but I, I just I don't have enough reliable fuel to get off coal. We did find a coal port, and we're gonna send you out to repair the uranium mine. Uh, and we are slowly landfilling in. I meant to. No, I did set that. Yeah, that's all set to level one. So we're gonna landfill that in. That's gonna be landfilled in. They're doing a valiant job already. We need to get all this level out to level one. So then put dirt on top. So then we can build out our farms. So then we can get on to the next lot of farming. Could not store all potatoes. Do we have food on? Uh, plenty of food one, plenty of food two. There you go. There's the problem solved. All right. I'm going to call this episode here. This episode, we got everything in. We wanted to, I think. Uh, we've upgraded this thoroughly. We've upgraded that. Uh, we need to get a little bit of runtime to get a few more things done. I obviously need to click this button repeatedly and remember to keep doing so. We have just one truck. Uh, oh, the other one's half built. Half built. That explains where it is. Uh, not enough workers. Oh, uranium mine was fully repaired. Okay, uranium mine pause. And currently our ship does not have enough combat score to take out anything because everything else on the map is about a 400 and we're hanging around at about 210. So we're going to retreat home. We're going to sit at home. We're going to hide our towels between our legs. Our, our towel, towel between our legs. Uh, I have nothing else in the world map I can repair. It's all been repaired. So actually there is one more I need to visit. Uh, no, that one that one yes because i want to get chickens in the distant future hopefully not too distant future but yes we're running out of coal we're flattening the land um actually they're doing a pretty good job of clearing this out the more rock we dig up the faster we fill this in so that is sort of part of the plans as well but it does mean i'm gonna leave this episode here with you guys being able to stand and our wonderful new and improved poopy system that is shit but at least now it's process shit. So we're going to call it here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode where farm. I really want to get into farming. I want to get into farming, but we need more room for more farms. That's really what's been holding us up for quite some time. Um, yes, we might clear out more of this. We're just digging, digging everything at the moment so we can drop it in the sea so we can get more land because this map is not designed with a lot of clear land. Anyway, that's it. We're out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.